let's address the second half of the sandwich and also address something about YouTube that I've wanted to talk about, keep forgetting, but the dislike button. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Been, I don't know how long since I've had Subway, but today we need to put an end to that. I need Subway. I'm craving it. I'm Jones in it. I have an idea of what my crave is. However, they do have some new items. I was just on the website checking it out that I might try out. We might mess with something new. I don't know though. Or we might stick to a standard classic basic. Either way, we gotta go. It's time to roll. Yeah, that's right. That's right, you, you bet he did. <laughs> you bet he brought his own bottle of ranch. Of course he did. I did, however, get her to sauce the shit out of this. I got four sauces on it, so it should be pretty saucy enough. But uh, went with the Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips, was really craving those. I was looking at these new items and I just I couldn't deny my true crave. And my true crave was the rotisserie, like the real chicken, chicken bacon ranch. So I had to get that. So I got that loaded up with veg, a couple sauces. We'll have a look at it, we'll talk about it. Uh, nice foot long guy but uh, they have these new I want to say these like like snack sandwiches and they have like a crispy chicken one like a spicy a spicy crispy chicken and a regular crispy chicken that was tempting me I did want to try it but I was like there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat all of that so we're just gonna go with a quintessential crave today We've also got a uh, retro cup diet Pepsi on ice, feeling nice. Now, here's what's different today, which is interesting. A, uh, a grill, they have like a panini now at Subway, a panini press, which I've never tried. I've always had, always had them toasted. But uh, intrigued to try the panini, panini press style. So there you go. The rotisserie chicken chunk there. Then we got lettuce, tomato, cucumber, onion, green pepper, banana peppers, um, Southwest ranch, mayo, and sweet onion sauce. So banger. Wow. Have not had that Subway bread sensation in so long. Very saucy. She did it up right. And I am loving, I mean loving, that panini uh, press. That's better than a toast for sure. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon and the veggies in there were so fresh. Like that lunchtime immaculate fresh. Mm. Nothing beats that sweet onion against the uh, the chipotle. Such a legit combo. Oh yeah, I got the yellow cheddar cheese as well.
But shout out to y'all for dapping me up about locking in uh, that job or whatever. But lots of people think I've already started it. I don't start it till the 4th of January. Because the owner... He's actually road tripping out to BC right now and back to like pick up. A vehicle, something to do like for the business, with the business. And uh you know, it's just the holidays, New Year, New Year's and all that. This is too good right now. So fresh. So the business doesn't open back up till Tuesday. So I got a little bit of freedom left. Till I'm on the clock. Super random. <laughs> But I just got on this weird binge of, I started watching um, like Alaska state troopers or something like that, where they follow these guys around and their day-to-day -day dealings with crime in Alaska. Not usually the type of thing I would watch, but... I became absolutely enthralled. Very captivated. Alaska seems like a wild place. How they have to like fly in and out of little villages and like Uh, also, policing, like, the law in America seems so hardcore. I feel like in America, they're just like, their whole, you get put in prison for like anything, it feels like. I could be wrong, I don't know, but it feels that way on the show. Also, haven't had a, oh my God, I got so much sauce on my, my shirt right now. I didn't even notice that. Whoops, my bad. So yeah, I just got addicted to watching this Alaska cop show. People driving around wasted on like quads and sleds <laughs> almost like you know every couple cases there's always the, the people who get pulled over and then one guy jets just into the bush and you have to like track them through the bush like bring the dogs out and like follow the footprints and stuff it's crazy I think it resonates with me though, because my city right now is very Alaska in nature. We got so much snow. It's insane. The snow bank beside me is like mm, 12, 12 feet high right now in this parking lot. Could be getting absolutely dumped on. Also in the recommendeds, 
from the Alaska Trooper show. I got addicted to these super long, like, compilation episodes of a show called Hard Time. Basic <laughs> different people, like, different prisons, both men and women, in, like, Indiana and Ohio. It, uh, I don't know, it was just weirdly fascinating. I just got on, on such a binge. So that's what I've been up to as far as what I'm watching. Let's address the second half of the sandwich and also address something about YouTube that I've wanted to talk about. I keep forgetting, but the dislike button. As you'll notice, they got rid of the, dis the dislike button. It's been like that for a little bit now. I've got a few things to say about it. Firstly, having a dislike button never bothered me. In fact, it's actually helpful for more engagement. If people know that they can come in because they, they just automatically dislike you. And they can leave you a dislike. It was like kind of good for your channel, in a sense. I will say, though, ever since they did get rid of it, the amount of people leaving shitty comments is massively reduced because of fucked up troll people know that they can't even come in like there, there's no point to even go in the video because they can't even leave a dislike really right which if they come in to leave a dislike it's more likely that they could potentially leave some shitty comments too This sandwich is killing it today. So it has reduced that. But let's get to why I really think they got rid of it. I personally think they really got rid of the dislike button. Because of all of the <clears throat> like news outlets and everything, and like governmental public statements. PSAs or whatever. All of those videos were getting massive dislikes by the general public. Heavily outweighing the likes. And I think the mainstream and the governmental politics and all that, they couldn't, they couldn't, they, they like couldn't allow it anymore, right? They couldn't 
let that public opinion Not so heavily, obviously, disagreed with what they were saying. They couldn't let themselves be represented like that anymore. So now there's no scale. There's no... When they release stuff now, you don't get to see if the, if the uh, public likes it or not. And they most always disable the comments on those type of videos as well. So there's no social gauge. <laughs> because they were getting destroyed by the dislike button. That's why I think it's gone. I don't think it has anything to do with creating a friendlier community. I think they were just like, we're going to remove this option. That way people can't tell. That way they only see the likes. And Bob's your uncle, you know? So that's what I think. In other news, beside my subway, looks as if we're getting a Papa John's. Not that that really matters because I personally think Papa John's is kind of mediocre at best. But we're also, the Popeyes that we finally got is about to open up. So I can't wait to rip a Popeyes video. I miss it so bad. That sub was amazing. Those are definitely my two favorite subs. Uh, is the this chicken bacon ranch, like the real rotisserie type chicken. And we all know I love a double meat BMT. Can't go wrong with either of those. Definitely the two hottest subs for me at Subway. But anyhow, I'm going to skate on out of here, go home, edit, upload this, and uh, maybe get back to watching some Alaska Cops and just enjoy this little last time I have off before I start the 9 to 5 grind. And uh, tomorrow is New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year's Eve to all of you guys. I don't know if you celebrate. I personally hate New Year's because it's just cold and I don't know. It's like always too, like the places that you go are always too busy or something. It's just not my favorite. I just chill. So I don't know. Party if you party. Chill if you chill. I think this year is probably a little more chill given like what's happening in the world still. Um, but yeah, stay safe and uh, get yourself aligned. For the for the new year i've always said my new year doesn't start until my birthday that's when i consider the start of my new year when i get a year older but anyways you do what you want to do till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true if you like this content please like comment and subscribe as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel thank you for watching eat good live well and stay true